hello, actually I should be saying bonjour because I'm in the Vendée region of France, more precisely outside the Team HQ for Total Energies Pro Cycling. A little bit different service course to the normal ones, isn't it? The question is why am I here? Well, I've been invited along by Specialized, who many of you will be aware of as being the new technical sponsor for the team for 2022. It's all changed at this team because, well, there's a certain rider and a couple of his mates coming over to race for them. That's right, Peter Sagan signed for the squad earlier on, or at least it was announced earlier on this year. A massive surprise to, well, pretty much everybody who follows cycling. So I've come along to the first get together of the year, it's October the 17th, to find out how this marriage of uh, a rider, who shall we say, who's a bit different, a company such as Specialised, who are very technical, and a team with a 20 plus year history are gonna get along. Could be interesting. all the new bikes. We're here with Scott. What's your title? I am um, the Director of Sports Marketing for Specialized. So how did this all come about then? <laughs> a, a tech heavy brands such as Specialized get with um, French squad, shall we say? <laughs> Traditional French squad. Uh, I mean, obviously we've been Peter Sagan for a long time, so he was part of this, but I think one of the things that we really liked about this team or when we approach cycling in general is we have this idea of Silicon Valley technology with Italian or French or very traditional passion for the sport. Jean René and what he's built over the years is pretty incredible actually when you look all the way back through the history. Yeah. One of the things we've learned so much as a company but just hearing the stories going back to when we really first started racing with like Cipollini and Bettini and all those guys and hearing the people before me speaking about how much we learn from the racing right, is also super interesting. It's the merging of the knowledge. But what do you learn and what do you hope to like gain from this, this sponsorship? This might sound kind of weird and I don't know yet how it will apply to road, but so I oversee our mountain bike side also, right? And we've got Jordan Saru, Kevin McKell on enduro, um, Che Che on enduro. And you look at the way that those guys ride their bikes, they have a very distinct French style about them. Like the way that Kevin McKell, I got this mountain bike stuff, so I don't know if it matters for you, but like the way he sets his bike up is completely different than the way Charlie Murray sets his bike up, who's a Kiwi rider. Yeah. There's just this French style, at least on the mountain bike side, that I'm curious to see will, if it'll be here on the road side and which differences we will see. Here we have it. One of the new bikes for 2022. Come on past. <laughs> there we are. Cigar's not just coming with um, fellow riders from Bora. He's also bringing it over his own mechanic. That was his legs just then. Right, this is one of the new bikes for 2022. It's one of the winter bikes that have just been built up using the geometries that they've just found out. <laughs> Okay, Victor, you've just literally finished having your bite. <laughs> We've timed this just right, it's playtime at the school. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Anyway, you've just finished having your bike fit, haven't you? Now, how in depth has it been? How long has it taken? Uh, we take around two, two and a half hours with the TT bike also, and it was really interesting. Okay, normally, how long does a bike fit take you with the previous years? 
Normally for me it takes like five minutes because <laughs> <laughs> I take the tool, put the saddle and it was always the same, the same uh, measure, everything. Uh, but this year it was everything complete. Uh, we were sure during the year we have the, the measure okay, so it's, it's better. Has it surprised you? Has it, uh, have you? Have you learned anything? I have learned a lot. I told you tomorrow I will forget, but <laughs> no, it was super interesting. <laughs> Right. So from there, we'll go and we're going to check your upper body strength because we're going to take a look and see whether some of the crashes you had in the past might have hurt your shoulders and changed what it does there. Then we're going to take a look at your spinal curves to see kind of how flexible and where we can put the handlebars without putting too much stress on you or pulling you off the saddle. All right, Ashley, you deal with all the shoes. Yeah. You've been looking after all all the riders getting their footwear sorted because obviously you're not just supplying bikes, saddles, helmets, you're doing footwear as well aren't you? Yeah, yeah it's great. I It's been so much fun onboarding a new team and introducing Specialized to some of these riders for the very first time or they used to ride Specialized a long time ago and they get to come back to the brand, it's great. We've just been watching, well I've just been watching, <laughs> you've just been dealing with Bosenhagen and he seemed to really know what his feet do, what, yeah. he, what, what he wants, how he wants his feet to feel. Yeah. He didn't just fall on and go, that'll do. It's fine, yeah. Is it nice to work with people that are, I'm not going to say picky, but know, their, know I, their stuff? It is, it is really nice. I think one of the big things when you're working with somebody who knows what they're looking for is being able to, you know, achieve that, that kind of goal of, this is, this is what I'm looking for, what do you have that I'm looking for? It, it's a lot of fun because oftentimes you get them in the right thing and they're like, nailed it. Um, on, on the other end, you have riders who, uh, they could ride anything, they've ridden shoes that are too small, too big, um, and they, they don't seem to, to care, but sometimes you hit the right spot with th that kind of rider and they're like, oh, this is a game changer too. So it's, it's really, it's fun to get both sides of that. Right, let's debunk some uh, internet stories. Because <laughs> there's always words of, oh, the pros get everything custom made. How mm. true is that? Are they custom made shoes? No, uh-uh. Most of the pros, a vast, vast majority of pros are in exactly the same thing you can buy in a store. Really? Yeah. It's just like the footbeds I've seen you've got, you can make your footbeds. Yes. Or... So we do offer custom footbeds, but even the custom footbeds are available in retail. So no matter who you are, if you're, you know, Al Philippe or Peter Sagan, um, all the way to just like, I just started riding and I have kind of something strange going on with my foot, custom footbeds. Awesome. Yeah. I, should, I should let you get back to work, eh? Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs>
uh, another aspect of the of the, the, sport. the, the sports and I think it's it's the it's time. A good, it's it's a, a good time. A good timing. Yeah. For Sagan, for us also. It's two different worlds, but uh, I think it's match. Yeah. Yeah. I You're excited. And I, well, yeah, yeah. I'm really you excited. You can see. I it. have a uh, 23 years old. Uh, sort of 33 years, years old. old. But like, yeah, like yeah. Uh, 20, 23. Right there we have it. What do you reckon, people? First training camp, get together, done and dusted for total direct energy. Got to say, coming here for two days has definitely changed my idea on what I initially thought of the team and the situation with Sagan coming over, Specialised coming over. I was very negative, if I'm honest. I thought, like many people, what the hell? Still, I think it's going to be an interesting team to watch throughout the season to see that marriage of, well, heritage, tradition, married to technology and then having that Sagan fella thrown in who's not exactly a conformist. I'll be following them as well as I've been invited to a couple of their camps. Let us know what you think. Are you excited to see what these guys have got up their sleeves for the forthcoming season? Join the conversation below and until the next training camp, thanks for watching and a bientôt.